unprecedented attack by Iran now has us asking what could the impact of the strike have on our markets and oil prices? Our business reporter Alexis Christophorus is tracking that part of the story for us. Good morning, Alexis. Good morning, Stephanie. Yeah, we're taking a look at the oil markets and the stock market because unrest in the Middle East, of course, has Wall Street on high alert. Oil prices are a little changed today after rallying Friday in anticipation of Iran's attack on Israel. Analysts say the risk of escalating warfare in the Middle East has already been factored into this year's roughly 20 percent rise in crude oil prices. And stocks are actually rallying today after having their worst week in months. That's after this weekend's drone and missile attack was largely thwarted by an international effort and did little damage. Now, stocks are also reacting to a much better than expected report on March retail sales today. That report, just the latest proof that Americans continue to spend despite stubbornly high inflation. Now, what happens next with oil and the stock market largely depends on Israel's response to the attack. Oil prices are currently at a six-month high of around $90 a barrel. That's a level we haven't seen since the early days of the Israel-Hamas war. Analysts say if the conflict escalates, we could see oil easily top $100 a barrel as turmoil in the Middle East then threatens oil supply in that region and could put key shipping routes in jeopardy. If that were to happen, it could send gas prices above $4 a gallon and also push inflation even higher. Remember, just weeks ago, U.S. stocks were rallying to record highs on hopes the Fed would deliver three interest rate cuts this year. Those hopes were dashed after new reports confirmed inflation is back on the rise. And in addition to all of this, the conflict in the Middle East, those March retail sales reports, investors focusing on corporate earnings from major companies are coming out today and in the weeks ahead. They're looking for more clues on inflation and, Stephanie, the health, the overall health of the U.S. economy. That happened really quickly. It really did. Thank yeah. you, Alexis.